Hey guys, it's Kim Dae here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. It's been a while. I haven't picked up my vlog camera in about a month and I think I just really needed a break. So a lot of you guys have been asking me if I'm going to do vlogmas this year and unfortunately, no, I'm not going to be doing it. And that's just because I feel like this year I just really needed to take some time off YouTube and social media in general. So that's what I've been doing the past couple of weeks. I honestly have only been using Instagram maybe like 10 minutes a day so I find it's a lot healthier I would do my best to maybe post a vlog maybe like once every couple of days in December to make up for it for you guys but unfortunately there won't be any daily vlogs because okay I've been doing vlogmas for a long time I've been doing it since 2015 so that's 2015 16 17 18 and 19 five years I've done it and vlogmas I mean it's a lot of fun because it forces me to go outside and to vlog interesting things but at the same time it's very stressful because you go out you film and then you go back home and edit straight away and okay filming is easy for me but editing is a thing that really gets to me it takes hours and hours to make a video so during vlogmas I don't sleep um, I only sleep a couple of hours a day wake up film go home edit repeat and yeah I just think this year I don't think I had the strength to do it so yeah I decided not to do it this year um maybe next year I don't know but yeah unfortunately 2020 has been a rough year for everyone and yeah I think we all just need to take a breather sometimes but anyway um yesterday was actually Black Friday and in Australia Black Friday isn't really a thing but recently in the past couple of years stores have been doing Black Friday sales so I'm gonna go into the city and just shop around today um even though black friday was yesterday most stores in australia had the sales on today on the saturday it's actually like super hot today i think it's like 36 degrees so i'm gonna show you guys my outfit i'm wearing this checkered dress i got on yes style i love the bag so adorable i think i'm gonna have to put on more sunscreen though because like i said it's 36 degrees it's super hot and i don't want to burn so let's do that now Okay, ready to go. Now, actually, we have a special guest staying with us. This is Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Yes. Hey, girl. Come here. Sweetie. So, this is Chloe, my friend's cat. She's in Canberra for a week and she asked us to help take care of her. So, I was like, of course. So, yeah, she's just chilling outside. Oh, hi. Oh, sweetie. Yeah, so she's staying with us for one week and she's been here for a couple of days now and yeah she's been really good we are at Barangaroo such a beautiful day so we thought it'd be nice to go out and enjoy the sun Sushi. This is like one of my favorite Japanese restaurants, it's fusion. And because of COVID in Australia, we had to sign in with a QR code every time you go to a restaurant. It's checked in, so if anyone was around that was tested positive for COVID, then uh, we get notified. But in Australia, we've been doing super well. Um, I think it's almost been like 20 days of no cases here, so yeah, things are back to normal, which is great. Oh, what should I get? Last time I had this, this is so good. Last time we had the like you roll, that was amazing. Um, so this place has the best miso soup. I came here the first time like a month ago and I've been craving it ever since. But it's just so hot today that I don't think we can have miso soup. So I think we're going to give that a miss. I'm like sweating on my neck and I usually never sweat. Tell, I'm not sure what it is, just mango. I just wanted a cool drink. Erica, some beer. Yeah. Good. It's fresh, you want to try? Beach would be so perfect today, but it would be so crowded. It's too hot. Yeah, it's too hot. Maybe Ideal beach like 35 maybe, yeah. low 30. It's too sunny, I'll get burnt straight away I think if I go to the beach now. Probably like maybe 5pm would be okay. Who has arrived? So we got the Wagyu roll, we've got broccolini, tempura and fashimi. We're just shopping for stuff now. Forty percent off. How much would that be? Forty percent off. So then that'll be like, I don't know, a hundred and something. That's nice. Too bad. You want? You can it's look around. Just a king fitted sheet. That's it. Oh, is that it? 
Oh, that's not worth it then. No. no. What are the ones that we would need? Because if it comes with the blanket, yeah, but if it doesn't then. Queen fitted shape, it's from colour. Queen quilt cover. Oh, how much is that? There's a full on Harry Potter section at Myers. I was going to buy this hat for the wedding, but then I realized like maybe this was, it was like really expensive. I think it's like a hundred dollars. So I didn't want to spend that much for just one day. Oh, Skelly Grow. Oh, this is actually really nice. It's only 20 bucks. Yeah, I don't use them though. Toby, look at the top here. So cute. Oh, this is, yeah, the USJ one's better quality. They have all the ones here. Hogwarts Express. That's pretty cool. Oh, is this Harry Potter Lego? No, that's not. No. 3D Jigsaw. Uh, I bought this last year. I bought it for 75% off. Well, it's 100 bucks again, but it's 30% off. So, yeah, I got this for like $25 last year. It's exactly the same. I'm so happy. I don't or, want these creepy sad stuff. No, I don't like them either. Yeah, I bought the Christmas tree half price as well on Boxing Day last year. Oh, a big Harry Potter Lego set. I don't know, I'm... You'd be very bad at doing these. So yeah. You just wouldn't follow the instructions. No, I wouldn't. That's why I don't play with Lego. Like if I if got you this, <laughs> I'd be the one putting it together. Yeah, you would. <laughs> he knows me well. No, I, I don't follow instructions very well. Same with cooking. I don't follow instructions very well. I do whatever I want. Oh, look, he's got a little dragon. I don't know, like... I'm just not a huge fan of Lego. I know people are going to be like, what? Oh my god, 649. That's, wow, 650 bucks. It's so funny because Eric is like so happy. He's like a child in here. <laughs> Every adult loves Lego. No. Um, not me. <laughs> You're not an adult. <laughs> okay. How's this Harry oh, Potter? Oh, the Yule Ball, Hagrid's hut. Oh, the owl. It's an owl. What's only got one eye? <laughs> it's on the other side. Oh. <laughs> Just went to JV High Five and picked up a new hard drive because I'm running out of space guys. Um, videos just take up a lot so yeah I tend to keep all my videos I film as well just in case so yeah got a 5 terabyte one for 200 bucks so it's not bad. We're just gonna go to Cotton On because I want to buy some tank tops. I used to work at Cotton On. <laughs> Alright we made it back home. All I got was a hard drive but that's okay because that's all I need anyways. Like now when I go shopping I don't end up buying much anymore. Hey, oh, she, she just flops on the carpet. How was your day? She's very affectionate. <laughs> She's really fast. So the cat has decided to sit on Eric like this. Is that comfortable? Play some games? I engage an impact. So, just trying to snuggle up to Eric. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Like, just hugging me. So cute. This is how we've been spending our time the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am just about to wind down for the day and I'm going to do my skincare with you guys. So about a month ago, I did a video on my main channel showing you guys how bad my skin has gotten since COVID. So for me, whenever I stress out, I always break out around this area. And of course, because it's 2020, everyone's been stressing out. So yeah, I know that a lot of people have been having the same issues where they've been breaking out around this area. I'll be using these two products, the Teamy Blends Detox Mask and the Teamy Blends Vitamin C Tea Infused Serum. So I've actually used these in my vlogs in the past and showed you guys already, but we're going to use them again today. Just because the ingredients that Teamy Blends uses for their products are very clean, very gentle and uh, natural so I feel like I need that to calm my skin down. So first we're going to take the Teamy Blends Detox Mask. Now this is actually made out of organic matcha green tea, lemongrass and bentonite clay. So when I apply clay what I like to do is just kind of wet my face first just so it spreads easier. I'm just going to scoop some out. Now this just gets rid of your impurities and gives your skin the nutrients that it needs. So we're just going to try and spread this around evenly. Don't 
put too much on your face because if you do it takes forever to dry so I like to just put on a thin layer hopefully in 2021 um, things will hopefully uh, go back to normal and hopefully I won't stress out as much so my skin can recover but this year you know obviously because we can't travel um, a lot of my plans had to get changed that's why um, yeah I've been stressing I don't deal well with change we have a nice layer of the mask on and I'm just going to go and relax for about 10 to 15 minutes while the mask dries so I'll see you guys in a bit it's been about 15 minutes and mask is now dry oh my gosh guys can you see those pores wow okay we're gonna wash this off just wash the mask off my face and I feel like already my skin feels so much brighter so to finish off I'm just going to keep it simple today I'm going to be using the teamy blends vitamin c tea infused serum this is actually my second bottle i finished um one like a few weeks ago i'm just going to apply this directly on my skin so this has hibiscus flower hyaluronic acid and vitamin c so it's really hydrating and also at the same time because of the vitamin c it helps to reduce the pigmentation so i'm just gonna apply this all over my skin oh already you can see that my skin is glowy Oh, I just need this to go away so I really hope that over the next few weeks it will improve skin feels so much more hydrated now so if you guys are interested to check out the Teamy Blends products check out the description box down below there's links and also a discount coupon hey guys it's the next day and actually for the last month I haven't been putting on makeup at all but I'm testing out a bunch of new makeup products for a video I really want to make by the end of this year so yeah just testing out some new stuff today um, today we're gonna go out and get some lunch and then also go grocery shopping so tonight I really want to make my mushroom soup again for some reason I've been craving it and oh I might make some bread as well it's a very hot day once again today so oh, um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing my outfit for today it's very hot so I am wearing this dress I got from Yesda once again and the brand is true so I haven't done like a Yesda video in a very long time I We'll try and make one by the end of this year because I have a lot of clothes piling up. So yeah, we'll try and do that. But anyway, we won't go out too long today because once again, it's like 40 degrees. Chloe has been sleeping on my chair for the whole morning, but it's okay. So I put this towel on for her so it's a little bit more soft. I think she likes to sleep on soft surfaces. Oh, my hair's a mess because it's so windy today, but it's so hot. We walked outside and we just feel the heat like blow into our faces. But anyway, we're gonna go get lunch now and we're gonna get dim sum. This one's my favorite. It's like pork mince inside, so good. It's a breeze. Get Swiss brown mushrooms, some shiitake. Is that it? Yeah. Just found some cherries. I haven't seen them in so long. Oh, I'm so excited. So I think we're gonna buy some to eat and I might use some for dessert. I might make a cherry puree. Just before we head back home, I'm gonna grab some bubble tea. Uh, let's see. I had this one last time, it's quite nice. 2018 signature sign black. So we got our bubble tea. Mm. Much needed. So we have friends over right now and we are just setting up our very first Christmas tree. Now, if you guys watched my vlogs like last year, I actually went shopping on Boxing Day and the only thing I wanted to buy was a Christmas tree. So I got our Christmas tree half price. I also got all the decorations, like I think 75% off as well. So I'm pretty happy about that. Just having dinner now. I made some picacha and some mushroom soup and the ingredients we bought today. All right, well, I am. Chloe, hi.
So Chloe is going home this afternoon and yeah, she's been lovely. Like she's such a friendly cat, so cuddly. She is very affectionate. She loves to sleep in between me and Eric every single night. And this morning, it got to the point where she was like literally wrapping herself around my arm and hugging it. It's so adorable. It's funny because she always looks so mad, but you know, she's a lovely girl. Owner's gonna pick her up this afternoon and we're gonna grab dinner with her owner. Okay, so Chloe is going home mm, in about an hour. I'm not really a cat person to be honest. And that's just because, well, from my experiences with cats, most of them just run away as soon as someone goes to their house. But Chloe is very different as you can see. She is super affectionate, very, very friendly. Like, honestly, the friendliest cat I've ever met. And yeah, it's really cute. She sleeps with you and she cuddles you as well. Like I've never met a cat that actually hugs you to sleep. So yeah, as you can see, she's just snuggling up on me. I'm gonna miss you so much. Now Chloe is actually 14 years old. She doesn't look like it. She is very healthy. She, I mean, okay, honestly, she sleeps all day, but she has times when she wants to play with you and she does have her moments where she gets zoomies. Um, I mean, I don't know much about cats, but yeah, I think for a 14 year old cat, she's doing very, very well for herself. She is sleeping on my arm. So she was doing this this morning as well. It got to the point where she was literally hugging my arm so adorable so chloe just got picked up and she's gone home and chloe got us a present auntie kim and uncle eric so cute from chloe dearest auntie kim and uncle eric thank you so much for looking after me the entire week i hope that i wasn't too much trouble i had such a wonderful time with you as a token of my appreciation a little something to thank you lots of love chloe <laughs> chloe got us a stand mixer accessory which will go with the color of my kitchen aid so chloe you didn't have to this is my kitchen KitchenAid and yeah the color matches perfectly. This is the ceramic bowl so it's going to replace this metal one. Ah I love it so much I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna wait till Eric gets home so we can put this somewhere. We just don't have that much storage space but we'll find a home for this. So I am out having dinner with friends tonight and we are having hot pot. now and I thought that I'll spend some time to catch up with you guys because it's been a while so like I mentioned early on in the video I decided to take a break off YouTube for a while and I don't know I just really needed it um, over the past couple of weeks I just felt really stressed out about it and it was nice to just kind of chill out not think about YouTube for a while. I mean, I've been doing YouTube for like the past 10 years and I haven't really taken that many breaks. And I guess people don't really see the behind the scenes and what goes on, but you know, you're spending so much time staying up late editing, filming, redoing takes and all that stuff. And yeah, I just got burnt out. Um, even though this year I honestly haven't really been uploading that much, I know. Um, but yeah, I just kind of got really stressed out because well, first of all, um, I was thinking about doing Vlogmas, but then I thought to myself, I don't do anything interesting at home. The previous years I did Vlogmas, it was easy because I was in Japan, so I could just go out and film whatever and, you know, it'd be kind of interesting. But in Australia, like, yeah, I could go out, but at the same time, um, I stay home a lot these days and what I do at home is what everyone else does, so I just feel, I don't know, it's just not interesting to watch. Um, I mean, maybe I would try and film some at home vlogs if you guys are interested. Like, let me know down below what you want to see. Enough of YouTube talk, let's just talk about life in general and what's going on right now in Australia. So, in New South Wales, um, things have been going very well. Uh, we had a streak of 26 days with zero cases. But then um, today one case came up, it was a hotel worker that caught it. According to the health officials, they said that it should be okay because they've traced 
back um, to all of the people she's been in close contact with and um, they listed all of the times when she took the train so hopefully fingers crossed that it should be under control like that's what we've been told we've been told that it's under control restrictions are going to be lifted next week I don't know what they are I don't think it'll affect me anyway because I don't really like hanging out in big groups but also some big news is that Western Australia opened up their borders so I can technically go back and see my family in Perth for Christmas but I have decided not to. I'm going to go back to Perth in maybe January instead. Reason being is because okay I want to be completely 100% sure that I am you know safe without the virus so you know touch wood most likely I won't catch it because um, things have been pretty good in Australia and we've got like one case right now and I haven't been around the area where that person that was positive has been so it should be okay and there might be like a slight chance I might be carrying it so that's why I decided you know what I'm gonna wait until things are like 100% safe. Other than that honestly like I have been spending the past month indoors playing Genshin Impact. Um, it's been amazing because like Eric and I have both been playing it so this is like the first game that we've been playing together so it's quite nice that we've been spending a lot of time together recently even though we're just gaming. So we've been pretty addicted to the game and also a lot of my friends play as well so it's been really good we've all been like just you know on voice chat and playing at the same time so it's fun. Um, so I'm gonna go off and play some more Genshin Impact now. Um, thank you so much guys for watching this video I hope you all enjoyed it and yeah let me know down below once again what videos you want me to make in December I will try and put in extra effort to upload more often than I did this year anyway all right see you guys bye